week five. Well, actually, we're a day shy from week five. It's the last day of week four. And I'm starting to see my upper abs to come in. So I haven't measured my fat lately. So I'm gonna say I'm about mm, like 10% body fat. Maybe, maybe nine, but I, you know. But I decided to change my, uh, my macros midway. So my body's been responding slightly better than I, than I thought, a little bit more carbs. So been liking it so far, I've been seeing some gains, not only in uh, gym performance, but also in uh, lifting weights and body weight as well too, so it's been, been a good four, well five weeks so far. It's cardio day. Looks nice out here. Changing it up a bit today. Whew. Getting a little windy. Feeling pretty good. Just super hungry. Can't wait to go eat. All right, I'm just cooking up some lunch right now. Got some uh, flank steak. Get some bell peppers. Some corn tortillas and uh, grab some cheese. Make some uh, quesadillas. So. As you guys can see, I'm cooking in my garage. It's kind of a mess right now. So it's, uh, it's been interesting as far as meal uh, preparation goes and cooking. I mean, I've been eating a lot of uh, like ramen noodles, um, some cereal, like oatmeal. So been interesting and a lot of canned uh, tuna and chicken still seeing the results um, liking it I've been eating a lot more fruit and more vegetables and a lot of protein shakes but uh, as you guys can see I have no access to that side of my house so it's like completely blocked out 
So, remodeling the whole kitchen. So, this guy's out there working on it. So it's been an interesting uh, two two weeks that they've been uh, working on the uh, on the kitchen. But I mean, you gotta improvise and you know still stay consistent as best as you can. Um, so just get a bunch of vegetables, chop them up, just to make sure I, I intake the the nutrients and the micros and stuff. And also with uh, uh, shredding or cutting down, it helps to eat a lot of vegetables. So that's one thing I do recommend to to uh, incorporate more in your, your diets. So I'm just gonna finish cooking up this uh, meal and uh, yeah. Looking good. Some cheese over here. I cooked it with uh, brown pepper, black pepper, sorry, and the snore. Give it a twist to the beef. So, it's gonna be mighty good. Show you guys the finished product soon. Alright, so here you go. It's kind of quick. Little quesadillas, the steak, coarse salad. So I've been eating um, a lot more salads and greens. Um, I only track the foods, sources, um, like complex carbs, proteins, fats, fruits. But as far as vegetables, in my opinion and in uh, kind of my trial and error, I figure you don't really need to track it. So the more vegetables, the better. So that's why I always have a big tub of uh, um, vegetables or salad ready to go and I just get my meal and I put on the vegetables and we're all set um, so it's just a quick lunch and it took no more than like five minutes and it's nothing fancy or anything I'm eating off of you know, plastic uh, or paper foam plates but uh, it'll it'll do for the moment so the thing is uh, I guess remember you guys want to keep consistent when it comes to uh, dieting um, as far as macros uh, I am in a deficit although I've been incorporating more carbohydrates I just decreased the fat a little bit so right now I'm just playing around with that number and uh, it's actually been so far good results let me go over here because the, the noise is a little loud um, so my body responding I've been noticing still some you know, muscle gains, even though I'm in a deficit. So, uh, I used to take other approaches when it came to cutting, as far as cutting out carbs as low as I can. But uh, my physique wasn't really as full, and my performance in the gym was just bad. So I decided to, you know, take a different approach, kind of check my ego, and not be scared of the carbs. And uh, so far, I've been been enjoying it, and it's it's looking good, and it's been looking good my body's been responding well so so yeah so I mean it's all it is I mean for something to work you got to stay consistent so you got to keep doing it day in day out I mean I've been at it for like five weeks tomorrow um, and as far as the higher carb cut maybe like two weeks so yeah two three weeks I started that so uh, my weight's been fluctuating a little bit but so far it's been been pretty good so Catch you guys soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pizza time. Max. Max. Pizza. 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 It's all for me though. Just one slice. And a salad. Right, guys. So, what time is it right now? Like nine. Nine. It's like nine something p.m. And I was actually very short on my macros, so I needed to take more um, uh, protein and carbs. So I just did a little crazy concussion. Um, let me show you guys. Using uh, baby food. 
some baby grits and a baby cereal just to really hit those carbs because uh, my fat was already uh, pretty much already taken for the day especially since I eat pizza so um, got some Greek yogurt to get the protein and uh, mixed it with some whey protein um, and even I think the animals like a shot of this these little animals yogurts so put it on my on my protein shake and that's pretty much what my oh and some cinnamon just to top it all off that's pretty much what my um, dinner or late night before bedtime snack looks like so the thing about it is uh, just being consistent with your diet doesn't matter you know what it is you do um, you just gotta do it for you know a certain amount of time for it to see the the results you know you can't you know whether you do flexible dieting where you do carb cycling whether you do paleo whether you do intermediate fasting i mean i, I mentioned this before and I, I sound like a broken record when i tell everybody especially all my uh, clients is that it doesn't really matter what type of diet you do is um you know i don't even like the term diet it's more of a lifestyle so you just in a sense fit your lifestyle or fit your nutrition and dieting into your lifestyle and then you just make it work, but you have to do it for you know x amount of time for you to receive the results. Otherwise, you, know, you can't go jumping from diet to diet or or you know style or, or anything like that. You have to give it enough time. Um, so right now I've been like on a 20, 20, 40. Uh, I mean I'm sorry, a 40, 40, 20 split. So 40 percent carbs, 40 percent protein, and 20 percent fat. And uh, uh, my body's been responding fairly well. I Still seen a, a lot of strength gains in the gym, and uh, I'm still getting fairly sh uh, not shredded, but I'm still getting lean. So I've, it's only been um, tomorrow is the fifth week, so it's been fairly good. Um, I may decide to play with the uh, macro numbers probably maybe Monday or starting next week, or maybe I'll keep it the same. I'm not sure yet. So that's one thing is uh, every couple weeks or so you might want to tweak it here and there depending on on uh, how you're feeling, how you're looking. You gotta have to, you have to assess yourself. Once you assess yourself, then you can start manipulating as far as numbers or tactics or you know. But I, I wouldn't recommend changing it every week or every so often. So you just got to give it time for it to to uh, like settle in in your body to reap the results. Otherwise, you know you're gonna be in this like hamster in the wheel, just running around in circles, not figuring out what it is. So um, I guess the key to this is just. Uh, just being consistent, you know, you got to be consistent, be persistent, you know, um, and just figure out what works for you. I mean, you, you have to go through the trial and error, you have to go through the struggles. I mean, I'm going to show you guys my kitchen again. So, I mean, it's everything's all over the place right now. I mean, you know, we had pizza earlier, so uh, refrigerator has a lot of, you know, canned foods and stuff. So I've been fairly a little bit bloated, so I've been trying to increase my water intake and you know, eat a lot, a ton more vegetables to uh, because my body type tends to get more, more bloated. But uh, yeah, so we'll keep it at that, you guys. Uh, I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks, so I've just been doing some stuff and just taking the role more of a the stay home daddy now. So I've been with my son a lot, and uh, but I've been you know working on some stuff. So hopefully uh, uh, I'll be back at it pretty soon. And if you haven't, please uh, subscribe and like to the page. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.